Riot made the controversial decision to prevent third party tools from displaying any win rates concerning augments. But fear not, I observed the Chinese mid season finals where the top Chinese players and former world champion like Huan Mi fought for glory. And then downloaded all their secrets into my brain. It's literally knowledge downloads in real life because I earned like 350 LP this week simply by choosing the right augments. In this video, I'm going to share with you the 10 best augments you must always pick whenever you see them. And I will also share with you the comps or the strategy you want to apply with them. Let's get started. In order to talk about the 10 best augments you really want to pick whenever you see them, I'm going to use Tactor. This is the sponsor of the channel and this is the guide I wrote myself. It's completely free. The link will be in the description. Basically, you can come back here whenever you want and think of it as a way to refresh your memory. So the first two augments, which are kind of similar because it makes you have the same late game board with tons of five costs, even four cost units, of course. And basically uh, with Belveth and Ari as your main carries. And then after a bunch of five cost units like Emaniga, Senna, Scion, Cassante, you know the deal. This is the best late game coin you can ever have. And you have two augments that can help you achieve this. First is Final Reserve. That pretty much guarantee you to be level 9 with 40 gold. Um, it's That's why it's broken, because it can help you to come back from almost any spot. And then the second augment is uh, medium edge shopping. So this one is kind of different because uh, it just helps you to have better quality shops. And the thing you want to do is to push level 8 with a lot of gold and roll down all your gold to find the 5 cost units. There are a few conditions where you don't really want to pick these. For instance, you don't want to pick medium and shopping when you have the choice at stage 4-2 and you already roll down all your gold. In that case, you will not have enough economy to use it properly. And final reserve, you don't really want to pick it if you're already win streaking very hard, of course. But also, you don't want to pick it if you feel like you will not be able to achieve being level 8 before getting to 1 HP. Because obviously, if you're level 7 and you proc the final reserve, you won't have enough gold to push level 9 and have enough rows to find all these units. So be careful with this. There are a few situations when they're not good, but most of the time they are really good. The third moment you really want to pick most of the time, especially if you see them as stage 2 1, but you might also consider it as stage 3, 2 and 4, 2 if you have a good base of Noxus. His Noxus crown. This augment is just too broken. It gives you Darius. It gives you one of his best item, uh, which is Infinity Edge. And gives you a Noxus emblem that helps you to have an insane Aatrox or a Nasus if you don't find Aatrox. This is obviously the comp you want to play. By the way, I love building Zephyr when you play this comp. Uh, and I position it like this. So basically, Darius can kind of sneakily avoid the tank and go directly into the back lane. So this is a small tip in case you didn't know about Noxus. The fourth augment, and this one is underrated, is Juggernaut Crown. The problem with Juggernaut is like people play Juggernaut like as if they wanted to play this comp. But actually, you have to play another variation is with six Juggernauts. Obviously, you keep your base with three Noxus. Darius, Katarina, and Samira. Samira is really good, so she can help shredding the armor so Darius can, you know, uh, kill the front line and go in the back lane very fast. And then after, you just want Juggernauts. Maybe Seth, Zed, and Varvik will die, but the others, it will be very, very painful to deal with for the opponents. Now we have two other augments, which are double trouble and too healthy. You probably saw them, you probably heard about them, but I'm going to tell you something that not many people really know. And if you want to really, really optimize this comp and have all your chances on your side to win, you need to follow this. So first of all, of course, you want to have at least two Talias on the board. By two Talias, I mean like one which is at three stars and the other one, two stars if you have double trouble, but at least one star if you have only two healthy. You want to do the same with set um, because obviously you have more bumps or more CC. But one thing I really want to say about this comp is there is a bait. For instance, you find Talia 3 kind of easily, but you still don't have set 3. One thing you have to do is to give up set 3. Instead, you want to rush your level, level 7, level 8, because you really, really, really want to have Scion and Cassante. You even want to have two 1-star Scion or two 1-star Cassante, because that just enable your Talias much, much more than if you spend level 6 forever for set 3. The other thing I really want to say about this is if you can, I know it's hard, but if you can, 
try to stuff full mana for the small Talia, let's say the small one, uh, because that way she will just bump, 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 and bump, and just put damage on the other Talia. Uh, full crit damage like a GG, Hodge, and Guardbreaker, or you can go with uh, whatever offensive items you find. Next moment that I've seen many times during the Chinese competition is Reef War Cassadin. They love it, and there's a good reason for that. Let's say that this comp has a high potential to win almost every single board. And maybe except, okay, except maybe this one, which is impossible to beat if you have everything set up properly. But honestly, this one is really strong. So the way you want to play it is obviously around Cassadin. So one thing about Cassanin that's really important is to have sustain. It's more important to have sustain than damage because if he survives long enough, he will have enough damage because this moment allows Cassanin to stack AP every time he casts. So you just want him to survive. And the other part that's really nice to have if you can is to have some crit damage because the crit allows him to amplify the damage by like 40% and that's insane. So about this comp, you want to reroll a level six for Cassanin if you find Soraka easily, you want to reroll for Soraka. But this is just like Talia. You don't want to uh, stay level 6, sorry, forever because you miss Soraka 3. If you have Cassadin 3, but you don't have Soraka 3, it's fine. Just push your level because that way you can find Cassante, which will be extremely important to activate 6 Bastion. Obviously, if you have a plus 1 Bastion, 8 Bastion is kind of broken, <laughs> but it's kind of rare. So let's say that most of the situation, this is the board you want to achieve. Next one is Ravenous Hunter. You probably heard about it already. You've seen it already, but it's still a very good augment despite the small nerf he got from the last patch. So there's a small difference compared to last patch is that now four Juggernauts got buffed. And that allows actually to have a better board if you play around four Juggernauts and four Challengers. Because there were some versions with six Challengers before, but now it's really four Juggernauts and four Challengers if you want to have the most optimized version. You want to reroll a level six, you want to find Baric three. Ideally, you want to find set three as well, but this is definitely not mandatory. Instead, what's really more important to you is to push your level so you can have four Juggernauts, four Challengers. And Aatrox being the last Juggernaut, but before you find Aatrox, you can have obviously Garen, for instance, or Darius. Another thing I really wanted to say about this comp is that since Varvik with Revenue Center got slightly nerfed, it's still a very, very, very strong augment, but it got slightly nerfed. It's really important for you to start thinking of building a secondary carry. The best is Kesa. Honestly, like she's so easy to use. Uh, she has different items from Varvik, so it's usually easy to split the items properly. Next one is Garion Chains Resolve. So about this augment and the next one that's coming up, I think it's kind of specific to the Chinese meta because I don't really see it that much in Europe. And I don't know about NA, but I don't think it's that popular as well. So the reason why this augment is so popular in China and even in pro players, like during the finals, I've seen this augment so many times. It's very simple because there in China, they have a very, very strong three cost meta about rerolling Darius, rerolling Rek'Sai, Karma, and some of, and Velcos as well, all this stuff and action. So they really, really like to play around three cost units. In Europe, it's slightly different. We still like to go into more late game units, like four cost and five cost. Anyway, this augment is still very valuable. You have two ways to play this augment. Either it's with Noxus, though, so I already showed earlier how to play Noxus. The other version is with Rek'Sai. So here I show you the Rek'Sai version. Uh, for Rek'Sai, you really want to play around six bruisers. The best is when you have plus one bruiser after. That way you can remove that Renekton and have something much better. Uh, and after you want to include two Freljord because you have no way to reduce the armor with this stuff. And you can also try to stuff Belveth. Excellent side carries that will help Rek'Sai finish off targets. And finally, the last augment, I've seen it so, so many times during the Chinese mid-seasonal tournament finals, is Glacial Breeze. Uh, one thing about Glacial Breeze that I really like about is that, you know, now Freljord is back to being a very, very decent frontline that's used in a uh, Dead Eye setup, in a uh, Zeri setup, and in many other setups, just like this one, for instance, with, with Bruisers. This augment is so valuable because it gives tons of shield and gives attack speed to everyone. And since Freljord is such a flexible frontline, you pretty much guaranteed to always land up in a very balanced comp. So that's why in Chennai, they always pick it whenever they see it. 
because they know that no matter what, they will find the value in it. And also, well, that can give you one Ash and one Lissandra. So I think these are valuable units. There's one thing I like to avoid about this Omen is to pick it at stage 2-1. The reason is very simple because at stage 2 1, you have one Lissandra, one Ash. Okay, fine, you can play Freyjord. But the issue is that these units are not strong enough in stage 2 to make you win streak. I do think this moment is kind of broken if you have as a choice a stage 3 2 or stage 4 2, especially when you already have Freyjord on your board. So that just makes your board simply stronger. Right now it's summer and maybe you started to think a bit too late about having a good summer body because you wanted to attract the attention of many many people at the beach or at the swimming pool, whatever. But as you know, it's already too late to have a summer body. But I have something that works perfectly for you and that is having the master crest on your forehead with your little leader and your in-game name. So if you want to attract as much attention as possible without spending too much effort and without spending too much time, in that case, you really want to subscribe to my free newsletter. Like every week, I send to you five comps, the most performing comps that you will find on the top meta for every challenger players. And I will send it to you directly into your email. Just like in this example here, where I shared Sorcerer Ari, Freyo Deadeye, all of that with augments, and legends that you want to have when you play these comps. I do the scouting, I do the research, I do the observation from top streamers. You just have to read it in five minutes and then play your games and get master. And then after have many, many people attracted to you. So make sure to subscribe to my newsletter. The link is in the description and see you at the top of the ladder. Happy climbing, happy hunting.